welcome here to the home of the Under Smiling Sun Champion, Ferrari's biggest fan as the summer is approaching so you can see some changes and today we will take you uh, uh, back uh, to the past, uh, we should say, or back to the future, well, we will go uh, on this hot lab over here around um, the Shanghai uh, circuit, which obviously will be featured, you know, for the first time uh, on the Formula 1 calendar in uh, five years. Last time we did it in 2019 and obviously now it's heading back, as you can see over here, uh, obviously with our great, great calendar. So, we are very, very excited because obviously we are on super form, uh, especially, you know, right at the beginning of the season. So, as you can see, this is basically our final stop here on the Asian continent. Can you believe it? If we discount the Singapore before, of course, the summer break, uh, which uh, obviously Singapore will take place uh, you know after that so we will show you how to master this difficult difficult challenging track you know I have to say I was uh, immediately on the pace so I was surprised you know that track was obviously designed uh, you know in uh, probably uh, you know in that respect of one of the most famous characters in the Chinese language which is the up the Shan character so uh, actually it is turning around quite a lot it is quite challenging but of course Ferraris you know are very very strong in 2024 heading for the elusive world championship so we know everything about all the secrets on how to put it on pole position and we will show it to you right up here on our channel so are you ready to go i'm sure you are okay so let's go everybody we will climb here into our cockpit over here to show you how to master uh, shanghai so we will uh, take it over here and as you can see over here uh, we have done you know the the first you know, few rounds, uh, again, you know, in uh, this particular edition, uh, it is quite, quite uh, different, uh, the calendar. So for 2024, uh, China, obviously, over here, uh, is coming uh, as fifth uh, on the calendar. So let's uh, uh, head right down to the track. We will uh, first do the warm-up lap. So we will basically go, uh, you know, slowly to show you, for example, how to master this banking turn. There are quite a lot of banking turns, a lot of uh, the elevation changes uh, over here, and then, you know, how to put it on pole position, just like the lab record holder, Michael Schumacher, the Ferrari's biggest legend, you know, did back in uh, 2004. So, over here, okay, I, I think we can just uh, take it over here from the computer. Let's go for it, okay, and we will then show you how to do it before we go on a hot lap. So, over here, you can uh, slow down a little bit. So uh, yeah, basically you want to go pretty fast. You want to go to uh, the fifth gear, and if possible, you want to uh, for this final turn, uh, you know, uh, use a lot of the rotation of the car. You can kind of, as I figure it out, simply set it with these ground effect cars. And then you know, once you are over here, you know, at the main straight, you obviously engage the DRS. You know, you can also use a bit of a battery that can help you as you go over here. This is a very nice section of the track. You go to the eighth gear and then here, I suggest you do slow down uh, to the sixth gear, fifth gear. This is very, very challenging. You know, it's very difficult to keep track of where exactly you are, uh, for example, right? And then you go all the way to uh, the third gear and even, for example, here then to the second gear. Uh, okay, and uh, then you basically engage it. You can actually use uh, quite a lot of power. I did notice uh, again, you know, use the battery so that you carry as much speed as possible, but only when that car is really straightened. Uh, so, over here, then once you're heading here over the crest, uh, you know, that's an uh, easy flat out for, for you. You want to keep uh, here to the right hand side and then left hand side, and then here brake very, very hard as you see that uh, 100 meter board because you want to go all the way, of course to the second gear, uh, third gear you can also take it, you know, and basically you want to get a good exit, uh, be early on the power, because you will then carry the speed all the way uh, through this uh, section, and uh, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite uh, parts of the track, where I can get a lot of, lot of, uh, uh, a lot of time, I can gain a lot of time, so basically you go seventh gear, and then here you, uh, as you can see, the Shanghai city skyline over there, uh, you want to keep to the left and you want to keep accelerating, right? You keep on accelerating, you can even go to the 8th gear and then 5th or 6th, whichever you prefer. Usually I like to go to the 5th gear so I can, you know, very quickly position the car over here. Uh, and then go to the 6th gear, uh, you know, carry a lot of momentum, hard on the brakes, go to the 4th gear. Sometimes you brake for a little bit longer, I think it will be good. Uh, you know, beneficial because you don't want to run off the track over here. We will see on a half lap how we master it. And then over here, if you can just keep the full power and just go right through this corner, uh, that will uh, help you to gain lots of lots of time. But it might not be possible 
So you might want to lift a little bit and that will be definitely fine. So then you go to the seventh gear and usually here you go to the higher reps and then you break to the third uh, gear right at a hundred meter board. Uh, that's a good reference point for you and you're gonna really break at the time because you know, uh, it is important that you don't overshoot, especially the second part over here of this uh, very, very slow, uh, very, very long turn, because then uh, you want to keep on accelerating fourth, fifth, sixth gear. So you may you want to be at uh, the right side uh, of the track. Uh, the, over here, it's still easy to lose the car even in the fifth and sixth gear. So, you know, be careful with the deployment of the battery. But once it's straight, you know, just uh, head towards it. You know, that's a one kilometer straight, obviously. Uh, Shanghai is very, very famous for it. You will engage the DRS just about here at the sponsor board. And, you know, that's uh, basically where I also did manage, uh, for example, to snatch the victory. I think it was back in uh, 2016, uh, which uh, I was super, super obviously happy about. Uh, then over here, uh, you know, the track comes, you know, quite quickly at you. You can break a little bit later, you know, just sometimes it's good to break, stay in the seventh or sixth gear, and then go quickly through the gears just to make sure the car is settled. Okay, you keep it just like that. Then second, third, fourth gear, and you know, you do your short shift, that will definitely help you. And that's the pretty much the lab around Shanghai, as you will then go. Uh, and there's, by the way, that famous pit straight where Lewis Hamilton got beached in 2007. Otherwise, he would have been the eight-time world champion. So remember in Suzuka, when we show you where Michael Schumacher's engine blew up, obviously, Ferrari legend, you know, so we know uh, everywhere where the history of the Formula One was made. If Hamilton wouldn't lose it right up there, then obviously he would have been a champion for the eight-time, just like Michael Schumacher would be if his engine didn't blow up. But enough of history! Are you ready for the hot lap? Let's go! Okay, so let's see what will happen here. of uh, Michael Schumacher's uh, best time and uh, yeah again you know greatly greatly enjoyable over here to race uh, in Shanghai and you know we cannot wait uh, for the Ferraris to of course put it in a full position so over here okay we can see uh, just how well we of course uh, did okay so uh, yeah again so you can see some uh, great great scenery over there okay as we get a bit of a podium pass that's always nice and over here you know that's how uh, you know, we did master it, so that was a really, really good, you know, performance over there. So you can see definitely, uh, you know, again, there's a lot of, lot of time to be gained. So you got to find your right setup. You know, you always got to be on it. And I'm sure you can put the Ferrari on full position and we can win as we are getting accustomed to in 2024. Let's go, Forza Ferrari! 